Williams driver Nicholas Latifi heads to his home race in Canada this weekend for the first time in his F1 career. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our official home on unbeaten.com. Twenty twenty two may mark Nicholas Latifi's third season racing in Formula One, but also his first home race, with Canada returning to the calendar after a two year hiatus due to COVID nineteen. Latifi is used to waiting, with his Williams debut pushed back four months following the cancelled Australian Grand Prix in twenty twenty. But the Canadian has had to wait much longer than that to race at home. Twenty six years, in fact as he exclusively told the inside line. You know, a lot of drivers have had their home race before going to F1, like still like on a big stage, whereas me, like, I, I've never done a car race in Canada, hands down, so uh, let, let alone racing in, in Formula One in, in, in the city I was born, so I'm extremely excited for that. The event has a lot of meaning for Latifi and his family, over and above national pride, with the Grand Prix and annual pilgrimage. We'd make a, a nice weekend out of it with a lot of my cousins and, uh, and, and uncles. We would, we would go to the race. I think, I don't remember the first year I went there uh, to watch the race, but I would have, if I had to guess, it was probably since I was around seven or eight years old, something like that, I would have gone to the Grand Prix. Latifi caught the racing bug, especially having witnessed some of the big moments on track in Montreal from the grandstands, including Robert Kubica's dramatic barrel roll in 2007. So it happened right right in front of us, which was obviously a very uh, spectacular sight to see. I mean, obviously not spectacular in, in a good way. It was just, you know, something so, you know, this is, this is crazy. What have we just seen here? And I remember seeing, you know, Roberts like kind of like feet, you know, through the, the foot box and, and everything. And, you know, for, for sure, we all thought it would have been something much serious than, than it was. So it was great to see how, how quick he recovered. But while Latifi will be lapping up his first Canadian Grand Prix as an F1 driver, clouds continue to circulate about his future, with rumors he'll be replaced for 2023, and extra prize money said to more than make up for the sponsorship he brings. Heading to Montreal, Latifi remains on the bottom of the standings, 21st, with no points to his name, while his Williams teammate Alex Albon has three, from Australia and Miami. Making the second half of the season crucial for Latifi's future in F1. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.